Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Only Adventure. In the last episode, we made our way to the Team Rocket hideout, and in this episode, we are going to take the lift and see where that takes us. Which is another redundant talking is redundant thing. Oh well. Hi. Are you lost? You hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not a rat. You're, you're hurting Sparky's feelings. Seriously, dude, that's not nice. Just because Sparky's a rodent doesn't make him a rat. Uh-oh, that bite opened the door? Wow, okay. I guess I'll take it. Uh, let's see. How about you? Oh, right, and this is where we were before. That's just how we get out quickly, I guess. Okay, back to the elevator. I am resisting the urge to start singing all the way down. I like how the elevator's moving and moving, but our sprites are just staying still. Yeah, I lied. Here's Jesse and James. How dare you humiliate us at Mount Moon? It's payback time, you brat. Yep, yep, so we get to take on everybody's favorite anime characters again. Rocket wants to fight, and again with the custom sprites. Love it. They have the same Pokemon as before, just slightly higher levels, so nothing to really be worried about here. Just take them down with Sparky, it shouldn't be a problem. At least they're not trying to steal my Pikachu this time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am having way too much fun with the fact that Meowth is here. And we killed it in one hit. Sorry, Meowth. Rocket is about to use Ekans. Gasp! Its name is Snake spelled backwards. That means you mean serious business. And again, there's not really much to do except take him out. Such a dreadful twerp. Twerp. I, I seriously think the only time I've heard people use twerp in this, in this cartoon. <laughs> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Self-explanatory, and I didn't mean to talk to Pikachu twice. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, that's the boss of this area. Team Rocket's boss. Let me just head over here, see if there's any good stuffs for taking. No more room for items. Okay. Iron. That raises Pokemon's defense. We want to give that to Sparky. Dum de dum. That is the one thing I hate about this game. The inventory system is kind of stupid. <laughs> ah, well, let's go take on this guy. I love how his mouth is like green. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Oh, no big, you know. Mm, that happens. What is that red thing on his shirt? I think that's supposed to be a handkerchief. It just looks like a heart, which makes him less intimidating than they intended. Oh, crap. Okay. Double team and start submissioning the thing. Rage. I think gets worse with every turn. Yeah, okay. Better finish this fast. Um, there's really not too much to say here. We're just fighting. <laughs> And that is why I wanted Sparky to have submission. Rhyhorn, another ground type. Oh, joy. I can already tell this gym wasn't designed with Pikachu in mind. I mean, sorry, this, this fight wasn't designed with Pikachu in mind. Gym, silly me. No gyms involved here. And that was me yawning, I'm sorry. It's relatively early in the morning, and I wasn't feeling great the night I recorded this. Oh, level 29, which I believe is the highest level Pokemon we've faced so far. 
and then kill it? Oh, we could use that critical like two seconds ago. Sparky to level 43. Nice job, Sparky. And we defeated Giovanni. What? This cannot be. I love how when they want to make sure characters are like serious business, they always say cannot instead of can't. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. Ah, eh, world domination, you know, the usual. I hope we meet again. And we found the Sylph Scope. Oh. So I think that pretty much sets out our next destination for us. Remember Lavender Town? Yeah, now we can actually see the ghosts in Lavender Town, so... And if we can see them, we can fight them. So let's make our way out of here and back to Celadon. Oh my god, look, fresh air! Yay, fresh air! Mysterious poster, people gambling. Back when Pokemon games didn't mind people gambling. So I think that all that we can do at this point now is head to Lavender Tower, which is depressing and sad, and I'm going to meet you there. What? Everything just turned purple. Yeah, we're in Lavender. Off screen, I just went through and used some of the items that we found in the rocket hideout. I used a couple rare candies on Sparky as well as that iron and a PP up on Thunderbolt. So now we are finally free to go explore this awful, awful, terrible, nightmarish place. Okay, this battle right here, you've probably heard the theories about this battle. Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Remember last time we saw this guy, he had Eradicate? And then we made the Eradicate faint? Well, now he no longer has the Eradicate and he's at the tower for dead Pokemon, so. But two and two together there, we are officially a killer. Yeah. Anyways, this guy has more or less the same Pokemon he's always had. I believe we could have gone and fought him before we go and deal with the Team Rocket hideout, but I didn't feel like doing that first. So yeah, just not much to say here. Take him down. Uh, Vulpix. Oh, I love Vulpix. It's probably one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation. I've probably said this before. And we're just sweeping through his team. He hasn't landed a hit yet. Wow. Sandshrew? Aw, oh, come on. Nobody likes you, Sandshrew. Seriously, nobody likes you. And is Eevee, which still hasn't evolved. You know Celadon City is right that away. You can go get a stone for it and evolve it anytime you want, right? Sparky use Thunderbolt. Critical hit. Deep fried Eevee. All good. What? You stinker. I took it easy on you too. Haha, <laughs> we killed your Radita. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Smell you later. Stupid theme music, but it's okay, your Pokemon died. We'll take pity on you. And... Yeah, we keep moving. Even we cannot identify the wayward ghosts. A Sylthscope might be able to unmask them, and you know what we have? We have a Sylthscope. If we tried to come here without it, we'd just see a ghost appear, and Pikachu would sit there being scared, and it's pathetic and embarrassing on everybody's part. But yeah, now we know that they are actually ghastly haunting this tower. And we can move forward. And we are going to move forward in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Only Adventure. Zapdos, go out.